This is Vector, and he's my favorite little robot that I've ever owned. He's adorable and funny and cute, or, well, he was until he broke. You see, there's a company that's responsible for maintaining vector servers and selling new vectors if you want to buy one. And unfortunately, they've been taking people's money and not doing anything with it. They don't deliver product anymore. The servers have been down for over a year. And they have all kinds of excuses and stories about hackers and an employee stealing code, and they'll be back any time now but they keep taking money and not delivering anything, so I don't believe them. The good news is I got Vector working again. You can make your own personal server in your house, and I already showed you how to do that. If you haven't seen it yet, check out that video and go and do that right now. But there was some limitations. Without a few extra steps, Vector won't tell the weather like he used to, and he can't answer more complicated questions, just his basic commands. Today, we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you how to get the API set up to run his weather and how to connect to OpenAI to give him some chat GPT-like functionality. Again, if you haven't done WirePod yet to get him up and running, do that first, then come back to this video. But for everyone else, let's get started on making Vector even smarter. Okay, we're up here in my office. Vector came with us. You can hear him in the background right now. Now, whether you've fully finished setting him up the first time or you've already done that, you should be able to follow these instructions. During first setup, you have a chance to put in these keys that we'll talk about. And if not, you can get back to them, which is what I'll show you right now. Let's go to my desktop and see what's going on. If you don't already have this vector configuration screen, that's okay. It's pretty easy to open. It just depends on what operating system you're on. What you're looking for is a rocket looking symbol. On Mac OS, it's in the upper right-hand corner near the clock. Similarly, on Windows, it's in the lower right-hand corner of the taskbar, sometimes hidden away near the clock. Either way, you're going to end up clicking on that rocket symbol and looking for the web interface option. Then you're going to click on that, and it should launch a browser and open the WirePod configuration screen for you. And the very first thing we're going to do is reconnect to him real quick. And then what we want to set is location. Time zone if you haven't already set it, units, and time format. After that, we can go in and set up the APIs. So we're going to come over to the main screen here and hit server settings. We're going to start with weather. Now you can choose between open weather map and weather API. Normally I'd recommend Open Weather App because they're free and easy to use, but right now Open Weather Map is not working for me. So I went ahead and set up a weather API, and what we need to do is generate a key for this. That's easy. Head over to weatherapi.com and hit sign up, create an account, verify it, and once you're in, you'll have a dashboard view. So by default, it signs you up for a free trial of the Pro Plus plan, which is way more than you honestly need, and that's okay. When the trial ends, it'll come down to the free copy. And it'll try and convince you to pay more. Just don't bother. You'll find a key up here, and you're going to hit the copy button. Then you're going to head over to WirePod at setup, paste it in, click apply weather settings. And now, hey Vector, what's the weather? All right. Ah, nice and sunny day. Now we're going to head over to the Knowledge Graph. Now you have options here, but we're going to use OpenAI just because I'm most familiar with them. Again, we're going to need a key. So we're going to head over to OpenAI. We're going to log in. And we're going to set up a new key. Copy that key, bring it back over to Vector. And you can set up a custom GPT prompt if you want. The, the default will probably be fine. Choose a voice. Now, as for those four options, the first one is a fallback option. So if the normal Vector command 
and then your question doesn't automatically work, it'll then assume you want to work with ChatGPT and go to it automatically. That way you don't have to ask, I have a question every time. The second one will let OpenAI kind of give Vector some fun animations while he's answering your question. The third one will enable a history memory feature so that if you've had previous conversations, it can work with that information and kind of grow more personality over time. And the fourth one is just an additional voice option as well. I think they're all worth turning on. You know what else is worth doing while you're at it? Subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more great content coming. Now, over an API, you're gonna to have to set up a credit card as well so that it can bill you. I know we're on the free trial. We have no credits remaining, so we're gonna to have to add some payment, payment details. And you will have to make an initial credit purchase. $10 should be more than enough to get you for a while. And once you've got some money in there, you can go back to Vector and he should be all set up and ready to go. Hey Vector, I have a question. Who's the best Marvel superhero? Hmm. That's a tough question, since there are so many amazing Marvel superheroes. Some people love Spider-Man for his relatable struggles, while others admire Iron Man for his genius and innovation. Who's your favorite superhero? Now, you can go to the TTS site and listen to the different options. The sun rises in the, in the heart of the city. The, the library is a this simple to fact. The to to the last track, for thousands. passengers to their death. But none of them are going to sound like Vector. Where people go to read, study, enjoy nature. I think we'll use Shimmer for now. Hey Vector, I have a question. Who is the current Doctor Who? And so there you go. Vector has a new personality through ChatGTP, even if his voice doesn't match, and he has weather options now. I hope this is helpful, but if you have further questions, ask them below. And if there's anything else I should cover with Vector, please let me know and I will happily do so. But until next time, bye.